status. And you know, what I saw is such consistency with the principles in that the difference between a sort of the lowest level credential in coaching and the highest level credential in coaching is that the coach becomes non-existent. The coach begins to disappear. There is far less input from the coach. There is less telling from the coach. It, it all relies on pure presence. And even like when you're junior, you start to talk about, oh, wasn't my question great? And look how creative it was. And I used the client's language. And when you're, <laughs> when you're, when you're, when you're in the master certified level, they're, they're like, yeah, but you weren't present. Your question didn't arise from your presence. It didn't come spontaneously in the conversation. And that's the, the measurement that gets used at that level. So it's, it's, it's very consistent with what you said in terms of there are no techniques at that point. But it's, it's interesting to me how much the techniques and the grounded, um, I've spoken to Michael about this. He, he's told me it's like martial arts where he said, well, this is like martial arts. He said, you have to have the techniques. You have to do the techniques perfectly. And only afterwards does nobody care about your technique. And then at that point, it has to come spontaneously from your presence. But un unless you've got it and you're grounded in it, you can't say it's you know, something you don't need. So Maybe the field of coaching will take a similar course that psychology has taken right so kind of like jumping the boundaries of time you can go straight to the master coach without having to go through all of the you know yeah their proddings and, and being the center of attention I mean, <laughs> yes yeah right? that seems to be the typical journey and even yeah. i train I train coaches, but mostly they're leaders and managers and companies. And that seems to be it. They think coaching is on them. They're the star. They're the ones who's gonna, who are going to get the performance out of the person. And then what you got to do is tell them they're not. <laughs> that they need to disappear. And it's the employee who's the star. And you need to bring out the potential in them. But, you know, that's kind of what they have a hard time with. <laughs> You know, I was listening to you, Dominic, and with the word, instead of the word coach, I, I was listening with the word barber. And it's the same thing. The barbers that I knew are so <laughs> ethnic, right? And there's a really old school barber I go to. He's just like chop, 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 chop. He doesn't. And that's exactly the same thing as a skill, any skilled job. I think that you're going to want to use the skills. Mm -hmm. And then you come to a point where you're just yourself and you have your grounding. I, um, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I, I was just going to throw in like as someone at the beginning of a coaching journey and, and you know, the, the journey never ends, whether it's three P or coaching, in my opinion, uh, acquiring the skills is incredibly useful. I, I'm not sure that if I was suddenly able to go from zero to master, I, I don't, I don't think that's possible. Um, I, I, you know, I think back on the training that I've just gone through and there was so much, that that I learned that didn't come within the three principles package, but the the principles package that I have is such an amazing, amazing. I'm going to use the word tool when you're sitting across from someone, knowing that they're whole, knowing that they have their own answer. I mean, that's a that's a beautiful thing. But I'm not sure I'd want to skip all the skills I I learned in the last ten days or so. I sorry, I felt compelled to share that. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. I'm just curious how, how you feel that that was useful for you, Michael. I'm just curious about that. What's, what's that, Lori? How, how do you think learning the skills was useful for you now in your current development, your current level of development? Well, they showed me things that I didn't previously know. You know, um, questioning is part of it. I, I mean, like I said, I'm at the beginning of this from a coaching perspective, so I can't really narrow it down to one or two things. I mean, the, 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 the training was full of 
pertinent and useful information that at one at one time or another I will have mastered and then we'll, and then we'll put on the shelf behind me and not have to use anymore. But right now it feels like having a skill set to follow, even though if, even if I use it clumsily, is still better than not having a skill set at all. And, and Can, go ahead. I was going to say, you might not like this, Michael, but yeah, yeah. Um, Laurie, maybe I'll, I'll answer your question about Michael. <laughs> and the, re, the, re, the reason being because I had the privilege of watching coaching conversations that Michael conducted uh, prior. And then I've watched coaching conversations yeah. <laughs> that he has conducted since. And um, the co let me say that the well, what are you training. By <laughs> Michael's face, I think they were worlds apart, right? <laughs> this was Michael's, Michael benefited enormously from coach training. Um, he, he was in those coaching conversations basically uh, prodding and the beginning ones, prodding and pushing the client towards minute, some goal <laughs> and, and, and not listening and really knew what the client needed. And then, and then it, it was, it was really hard work. It was painful to watch. And uh, I, I never, I never gave you that direct feedback, Michael. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, afterwards I got the, you know, a privilege to see a different coaching conversation after all of that training and Michael was very different and so settled down and curious and letting the client lead I mean it was night and day it was far more effective a coaching conversation than the one he had before so I can attest to that. <laughs> but Dominic, do you think that Michael would have needed all the preparatory work to get to that point? Okay. Well, Michael, Michael's, Michael's a great example of someone that I believe is very well grounded in the principle. Michael, if you talk to him and his understanding of inside out, where his experience is coming from, and like so, really good understanding of that. And 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 I've also he's shared with me, and I understand, I get that he sees it, he sees that, and he was just not skilled in even how to conduct the coaching conversation, not skilled in how to open it, how to close it how to have that be an intentional conversation because that is what a coaching conversation is. It is not a casual chat. Yeah. People are paying you not for a casual chat. They are asking for coaching and you have to know what that is. <laughs> and that does take a little bit of education in order to be able to deliver what it is that they are hiring you to do. So. I, I watched him. He had great three principles grounding, but he did not have the skills and process to conduct a coaching conversation. Not at all. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so then you, do you think all coaches should have a three principles understanding, Dominic? Uh, well, should, should psychiatrists? Um, sorry, yes, 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 sorry. I, I don't think it should be a requirement. Uh, buyer beware. Uh, Shannon said um, it, uh, it's, um, it's an unregulated profession. So buyer beware, hire any coach you like. And by the way, I trust everyone's innate wisdom to make the best hiring decision for themselves. They'll hire the best coach for them at this time. In my opinion, as a coach, if you are not grounded in the three principles, uh, you, are, you will be less effective. You'll be tripped up, caught up in all kinds of techniques, and you'll believe that your model is the magic. You'll believe that your view of the world is what makes a difference, and um, you'll be just far less effective. So my belief is that the grounding in the principles will definitely make you a better coach it has made me a better coach which is why i've you know done super coach academy and a mentoring program with aaron turner and other like why am i doing all that stuff it's it's because that just makes me way more effective in my coaching yeah we are at oh go ahead all right i'll, I'll say we're at 20 after um 
I have to drive to Etobicoke, which is, uh, for anyone who doesn't know that, it's uh, about an hour drive. I've got 40 minutes to do it. So <laughs> are, are there any last, any uh, last thoughts from anyone or any last comments? This has been really great, everyone. Yeah, it has been great. All I'll say is thank you for the conversation and drive safe. <laughs> Thanks, Chanel. Anyone, anyone else? Lori? Thank you. Just yeah, thank you for inviting me, Christine. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unmute there. Everyone is now unmuted, and now we can all say goodbye over top of one another. <laughs> all right, I so thanks, Lori. I just want to say one thank quick you. thing and get you on the road, Michael. I just yeah. want to say, you know, if you could get George Pransky on this, that would be wonderful. Yeah, it was a we don't know how, you know, we have George now. We don't have, you know, a lot of the first, you know, we don't have Sid, we don't have Roger, but we still have George. Have so I would say utilize him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. Well, I'll do my best. Um, all right, everyone. I, I lost my internet connection in there. I'm hoping that I have um, a recording. We'll see. If not, then we'll have to do this again. And... Uh, <laughs> And I'll make sure that the children are not streaming movies or anything like that. Um, all right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye, Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Thank you. Bye. Love you. Thank you, Laurie. Bye -bye. Thank you, Christine. Yes, thank you, Laurie and Christine. All right. Bye.